Several weeks ago, I made a video about how the data miner who discovered the data mine poses for alleged characters from DLC Season 2 of Jump Force was expressing doubts that those poses were for new characters. And a bunch of other YouTubers made videos agreeing with Leandro the data miner. I, on the other hand, made a video disagreeing. I didn't disagree that the DLC Season 2 was absolutely not coming. What I disagreed was with the reasoning that Leandro and other YouTubers gave. You can watch that video, you can see, I'd say I was 100% right on everything except for thinking that season 2 was still coming out and that these poses are for new characters. What he said the poses were that he thought was wrong, but me thinking that those poses were for new characters was also wrong. These poses are just for special moves. It was always a theory in the back of my mind that this was for special moves and other people had pointed that out. But I just thought that didn't make any sense because they had never put special moves for characters in the game that were not already established characters in the game. We weren't going to get a Todoroki move or a Merrick move or whatever insert anime character here's move that isn't already part of the roster but it turns out today with the latest patch we actually got special moves from characters that are not on the roster now this footage here you're seeing is literally me recording this on my ps4 i literally went on to jump force the game and i looked at the special moves that had just been added and what you can see is Gatosu. I think that's how you pronounce it. I probably pronounced that way wrong. But that is one of the data mine poses, which confirms the fact that this is not a new character. The next thing we see is Flame Commandment Fire Pillar, which means, again, that is also not a new character. And here's the big one, Destructo Disc. Everyone was talking about Destructo Disc, saying Krillin was coming out. It turns out Krillin's not coming to the game. I always said it made no sense for Krillin to be DLC, considering that there were way more popular characters to choose from. But I said, hey, they chose Bisky instead of Murium or P2 or Krollo or Netero or any of the next 100 most popular Hunter x Hunter characters, why would they not do the same for Dragon Ball Z and put Krillin instead of Gohan or Gotenks or something like that? But it turns out they actually aren't putting Krillin. The Destructo Disc is just a move that's being added to your avatar special moves. And you know, why not? Destructo Disc is a pretty iconic special move from Dragon Ball Z. Goku can do it, but of course that's not one of his iconic moves because it's Krillin's move. And it's in the game. Since these three special moves are straight from the data mine poses, this 100% guarantees that the next poses that were data mined are also just going to be special moves. These are not DLC characters. So far, this means we know nothing about our DLC Season 2. For all we know, we might not even get DLC Season 2. Madara, Law, and Grimjow might be the last DLC characters put into this game. This is sad news, I know, as you can even tell by my tone of voice, I don't sound excited at all. There's not even jokes in this freaking video, I'm just disappointed. But, look at the bright side. Not a lot of people were happy with these characters anyway. People didn't think that Pop was a popular character. People weren't even asking for Dragon Quest characters. Krillin is not the character most people want from Dragon Ball Z. And it just goes on and on. 
even though some people like the fact that Koro Sensei could have been in the game or Orochimaru, but it turns out these are just special moves, you know? So I'm I honestly don't know what to say left for that. Just look at the bright side. If there is a season two, we might end up getting way better characters than we originally thought. We might get Todoroki instead of Uraraka, you know? But then there's the bad side where we might just get nothing. I don't know why I'm talking negative, but, you know, it could go 50-50 both ways. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. My name's Konjic, and I'll talk to you in the next one.